In a few days, I'm going to be visiting Japan and I thought I'd do a quick video about what's in my tech bag. For reference, I'm going for a holiday and I wanted to capture as much of the trip as I could. I am not a professional, but I am an enthusiast. So behind me is my carry-on luggage and my personal item. I also have a check bag, which has all of my clothes in it, all of my toiletries and miscellaneous stuff that I'm going to need on the trip, as well as space in there for goodies. But this is a bag that I'm going to be focusing on. This is going to have the majority of my tech that I'm going to have as I am roaming the streets of Japan. With that being said, there are only a couple of items that weren't able to fit into this bag that I'm going to be taking for their honourable mentions. They are going to be fitting into my carry-on bag and they're not always going to be with me. They are mainly going to be hanging out in hotel rooms or stuff for downtown activities. The first thing I'm going to be taking is my Nintendo Switch, which has proven to be a essential travel buddy throughout various trips of mine. Really good for downtime and very good for those long plane rides. I'm going to be taking this in my carry-on luggage. I'm going to be using this old Atomus carrying case to hold it, which is the perfect size for the switch to fit into. Lots into this area right here. Folds over, has these two straps right here. I can strap it down in and also has room in here to add in extra cables as well as the joysticks and various games I'm going to be taking and extra SD cards. The last thing that's going to be going in my travel luggage is this Ultra Ball which is a clever case for my Galaxy Earbuds which are the Galaxy Earbuds 2 and they're going to be used as my headphones of choice. They have noise cancelling ability and I've used them on various flights before and I've very much enjoyed them. It also has a cool walking uh, strap that I'm going to be using as I'm traveling around Japan. So the first thing I'm going to be taking with me to Japan is my Sony Alpha 7C with the 1.8 14mm G Master lens attached to it. Use this a few times while on holiday. Very much love the results of this. One of the things that I really appreciate with this is that this is one of the few Sony cameras that I've seen that have the silver top, which make it feel like a retro camera, which I really appreciate. It's an older model, but the new version came out in 2023, and I have no reason to upgrade at the moment. Cameras are expensive, I'm not a professional photographer, and this is just what I'm going to be using for capturing special moments all around Japan. Here, you, here we have the battery to keep it nice and charged. And off to the side, we have a memory card locked and ready to go. 128 gigs of memory ready to take as many photographs and videos as I can. Along with the camera, I'm also going to be taking one other lens, which is the 24 to 105 millimetre FE4 lens, which is quite a versatile lens. It is a lens that I've used as I've been roaming around the streets of New York City. It is the most versatile lens that I own. I actually bought this thinking it was a different lens. It's got quite a large range from 24 to 105 millimetres. Hopefully these will take some pretty good photographs as I am roaming the streets of Japan. I'm also trying to travel pretty light, so this was the, the biggest range for the weight that I could carry with me. The next thing I'm going to be taking with me is this gimbal. It's a Mosa gimbal that my partner got me. 
last year for my birthday. I think this is going to be quite a nice variation to like roaming the streets of Japan. I'll have a nice, pretty good experience of like holding the camera pretty steady as I wander around the vast majority of Japan. It also comes with a little stand here. Also comes with a manual. A cable and a little tripod mount on. All conveniently held within this bag. So all the bits are going to be together. Up next is my Rodecast Wireless Go 2. So I'm going to be using this to pop onto the side of my camera and I'm just going to be roaming with this and I'm going to use it to capture any moments, any special moments that are going to be happening. Got a couple of wireless microphones and little wire here to plug into the camera the next thing I'm going to be bringing is my Surface Pro nice little convertible laptop that I'm going to be using to basically play games watch videos do com basic computer stuff, all captured in this nice little form factor. This will include the power supply, which is right here. It's two little wires and the little brick, the power brick. So unfortunately, this is going to take up some space in my bag, but I believe it's going to be worth it. Next is an accessory for my Surface Pro, which is the MS Dock, which has a little wireless dong for my mouse, which I am also going to be taking with me. This one is a rechargeable one, you can plug it in on the top there, and it also has enough room for a USB-C, a little HDMI jack, and a audio hole. I'll also be taking this little SD card reader I'll also be taking this little Samsung SSD with one terabyte of memory to store pictures. To power everything, I'm going to be using the Swiss Army knife of electrical converters. The last thing to go in my bag is a little journal. Bright red, supports Liverpool, and will be great for taking notes. I'm also going to be using it to collect stamps at railroads and subway stations. So let's see how it all fits into the bag. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please let me know. Be sure to keep an eye out on the socials as I share pictures from the adventure to Japan. Take care, bye.